and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to actually kind of be a pretty big haul. I feel like I've had to buy so much stuff lately because obviously you guys know I rescued a turtle, but also some stuff broke down with my hermit crab tank. So I actually had to buy quite a bit of stuff. So I thought that I would just put it all in one video and show you guys what I got. So I do have a lot of stuff, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to start with Moo stuff because honestly, this month I have not bought a whole lot for Moo just because I've been so preoccupied with the hermit crab tank and uh, obviously the turtle stuff. So the first thing that I got Moo is a new bag of food. Now I know you guys are like, you just switched her diet over to Sunburst. What are you doing? However, I am always trying to find the best thing for Moo, especially with her diet. And I have heard so much good things about this Burgess food and I know you guys will all recognize it. Obviously, this is something that I did have to order online and the shipping was pretty steep because you can only get this in the UK. But this is the Burgess Dwarf Hamster Harvest and I'm really, really excited to try this. I've also decided I'm going to do a review of this food and I thought I would maybe do like a comparison video for you guys. If you're interested in seeing that, let me know down below. Um, but I did get this and I'm really, really excited to try this. Unfortunately, it is not sold here in the U.S. Shipping is a little bit steep, at least it was for me, but I'm really, really excited to try this. And I can already feel the pieces are so much smaller, so I really think Moo is really going to like this. So another thing that I got from Moo is actually a set of toys. And I'm only going to show you one of the toys because I'm sure you guys can put two and two together and you can guess what the other pieces are. But I really want to put it all in a video for you guys, but I will show you one thing. Guys. How cute is this? So I'm obsessed with these miniatures from Little Tykes and I just saw this car and I had to get it and I did get some other pieces too but again this is going to be for a future video so I don't want to show you all of it and unlike the real life version of this car the bottom is solid so Moo could get in here and it would literally be safe for her. She wouldn't come out the bottom or anything but that is just so cute. Guys this is super frivolous. I understand that but like how cute is she going to be sitting in this car? So I'm pretty excited. So the next thing I got you guys probably saw in Koa's vet video. I actually decided to get this Living World Animal Carrier. I initially bought this for Moo and I'm not sure if this is sold in the States or not. I know that I had to have it shipped in but I did get it off Amazon and I think it's like $12 on Amazon right now which is super duper cheap and really good deal. And for carrying purposes this is so sturdy. I absolutely love the quality of this thing. It is so nice and it actually works perfect for Koa too because I got the large. There is a smaller version that's purple. Um, however, I wanted the biggest one I could get just so that no matter what pet I put in here that they were comfortable. I am in love with this carrier and I did get this off Amazon. I will leave a link for this down below in the description. So the next thing that I got is actually a new bulb for my hermit crab tank. So the other day my bulb in my hermit crab tank freaked out and it was like strobe lighting and I was like oh my goodness what is going on. So I thought the bulb blew so I did order another one and I get so many questions about my bulb and my heating and things and what I use for my hermit crab tank. I thought that I would just include this bulb in the video today so I could show it to you guys. This is by the brand Aquion and it fits perfectly in a 20 gallon long tank. It's a 24 inch long bulb. Unfortunately, after I put the new bulb into the tank, I realized that the bulb was not dead. It was actually my hood light that went out. So I did have to buy a whole new hood. So I thought that I would show you guys that in this video too. So for everyone who has asked me and commented what kind of hood light I use for my tank, this is it. This is just a stock hood for the 20 gallon long and it is a fluorescent 24 inch bulb inside. This is a 30 inch long hood light and the box is massive. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is basically what it looks like and this is an excellent hood light and it works perfect for hermit crabs. It's literally just a stock hood. You can get it at Petco, in store, you can get it at PetSmart online. If you use the online method that I showed you, I think it's around $36. So it's not that bad, but but yeah. So everyone who's been asking, it's Aquion and it is a 30 inch long hood for the 20 gallon long tank. So now on to everything that I bought for Koa. It is kind of a lot of stuff, but I wanted you guys to see what all really goes into a startup tank for a turtle or a tortoise. So the first thing that I got is obviously Eco Earth. This is the substrate of choice that I choose to use for my turtle. Um, this is perfectly fine for box turtles. Obviously, if you have a tortoise that's a Mediterranean species or maybe it's like a Russian or a Herman's, you may want to do some sort of a potting soil mix because it stays on the drier side, whereas this is a pretty moist substrate. But I absolutely love this. It's also what I use for my hermit crabs conveniently, so I'm really happy about that. So I can buy this in bulk and I can use it for either the turtle or the hermit crabs. It just works perfect for me. But yes, this is my substrate of choice and I actually had to get three bags of this, but I didn't want to lug those in here. So I'm just going to show you one of the bags. But So I did get this at PetSmart. However, it is a lot more expensive there, but Petco does not sell the actual loose bags of this. They only sell those blocks and I really don't like the blocks. So I just want to let you know that the 24 bag, which is a lot bigger than this, um, is actually $29.99 at PetSmart. 
All you have to do is go on Petco's website. It is $13 on there for the extra large bag. I screenshot it, show it to PetSmart, and they did match Petco's prices. So instead of paying $30 for the large bag of this, um, you only have to pay $13. So I definitely recommend that if anyone needs this Eco Earth. So you can save a lot of money on that. I think it was in the, it ended up being like $17 or $18 that I didn't have to pay. So yes, I did have to get three bags of that. I actually decided to get this background. Um, it's kind of hard to see, but it is a desert background. I got this at Petco, and it is going to be going on Koa's new tank. I also decided to get Koa a half log, which this is the extra large, I believe. Um, it's a pet refuge. I did get this one at Petco. I don't remember exactly how much this was, but I did price match it on their website, so I know I got a few dollars off. Um, but this is a really, really big one, so it'll be perfect for him. Now, this is a little silly, I know, but it's so cute. I saw this plastic plate for like $1.50 at Walmart, and I thought it was adorable. I had to get it. Um, it just has little cactuses on it. Now, obviously, disclaimer, if you are feeding a turtle or tortoise in captivity, you obviously want to feed them on a stone or terracotta to make sure that their beak doesn't overgrow. But just for the sake of maybe filming a video or feeding him outside one day, I think this is so cute, and I just wanted to get it for fun. The next two things I had to get for Koa are worms. This is so gross, but I thought I would include it just so you guys can see the two types of worms that I choose to feed him. I did get a cup of night crawlers, which he absolutely loves. These are his favorite, and this is by the brand DMF, and I'm mentioning that because you really want to be careful if you get your worms or bugs for your animals from places like Walmart or bait and tackle shops that the worms are not treated with anything. And I did go on DMF's website, and on there it says completely safe for pet turtles, fish, and reptiles. So no worries there. So these are super worms. These worms are so active and fast and lively that they're really easy to gut load. I've been feeding them his pellets since he won't eat the pellets, but he needs the fiber. And they just attack whatever food you put in here. And then that's great because then when you feed the worms to the turtle, it really gives him all the nutrients that he's missing. So I stock up on these as well as the night crawlers. The next two things that I got are Reptocalcium and this Fluker's Treat Medley of Dried Bugs. It's completely disgusting, but my turtle loves it. Now, obviously, this is strictly treat form. I give these to him on his food maybe once a week, just a couple pieces. Um, this is more for aquatic turtles, and also these are not gut loaded, so they're just dried up. There's literally not that much nutrients at all other than protein, um, but I did get this anyway, just as kind of a treat thing in case maybe one day he's just not eating anything else. I do know that he likes these, as well as Reptocalcium, which is a calcium and D3 supplement. Now, I know that the D3, some people say it's not good for reptiles, and it is good for reptiles. However, because Koa is so depleted of all vitamins and minerals, I do not think that he's gonna overdose on this D3. Maybe in a year or something that I'll go to the calcium without D3 in it, but for right now, he needs all he can get, so I'm really not worried about that. And he does get this sprinkled on his food every single day. Obviously, as time progresses, I may be able to go to every other day or every third feeding or something, but for right now, we're trying to get him as much calcium and D3 and vitamins as we can, so he does get this daily right now. So the next thing that I did get Koa is some of this dried omnivore mix. Now, obviously, he does not get this daily. This is another kind of a treat, you know, thing that he gets once in a while. Basically, it's just freeze-dried vegetables, but they did redo the formula, so now there are bugs in here as well, which is really good. All you have to do is just rehydrate this, put it in the turtle's dish, and they go nuts for it. I also give this to my hermit crab, so again, that's perfect. Now, obviously, we give Koa fresh fruits and vegetables, but but if there was a day where we ran out or couldn't get our hands on any, this would be something great to have on hand. And obviously, I need it for my hermit crabs anyway, so it's just a good buy. And there is a little box turtle in the front here, so it is safe for turtles. No worries there. I just absolutely love this stuff. So the next thing that I got is some of this Missouri tortoise diet. Now, you guys know from my q and I love the brand Missouri. They make everything from reptile foods, tortoise foods, all the way to rat pellets. I mean, they have a very wide range, and it's really good quality food. So while this is a tortoise pellet, it is also safe for box turtles and it says that on the package. Um, it's basically like a land turtle food. It just gives them everything that they can need to kind of get all the nutrients and vitamins they need. Unfortunately, Koa will not touch these. Once he has worms and fruit in front of him, he's like, I don't want anything else. I just want my favorite things, which again is something that we're working on. But the great thing about these is that all I have to do is soak them in water and then I'm feeding them to the super worms to gut load them. So that's working out really, really well because the worms love this stuff. So he is still getting this metabolically. He's just not eating it like on his own straight off the plate. But yeah, I highly recommend this brand and I love these pellets. And the last thing that just came in the mail literally right before I started filming. I'm so excited to get this, you guys. Koa is going to absolutely love this. So I decided to get Koa this Zubed Repti Ramp. I am so excited to give him this. He loves diving in his water bowl 
and I think this will be absolutely perfect for him. It's only about two inches deep and it has the ramp so he'll be able to get in and out really easily. I did order this off Amazon and if you want I will leave a link in the description below so you can get it if you need it. This is the extra large size. They do make smaller ones but this is the biggest one that they make and it's actually perfect for adult box turtles so I'm really excited to use this. I think he's gonna love it. So thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me and to all my new subscribers welcome. I'm so happy to have you here and I just want to say a special thank you to everyone who's donated to Koa's GoFundMe. This is what the money has went to. As you can see it takes a lot to have a turtle and I obviously want to give Koa the best. Koa is so sweet and so special and it really helps to have a little bit of help with buying all of the stuff that is needed to make him happy and healthy. So I just really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. But thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Be kind. Bye.